Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options available for the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek. Here we have our Takansha T1 vehicle wiring harness. It offers the four pole flat trailer connector. Its part number is 118467. We also have the Kurt. This is also a plug-in style offering the four pole flat trailer connector. Its part number is C56040. Now both of our wiring kits are designed to plug directly in to a factory plug that we have on the back of our vehicle. Those signals then are going to go into the converter boxes where they are going to be then translated into a usable signal for our trailer. It's going to give us running lights, it's going to give us left turn and brake, right turn and brake, and also our ground. Now the nice thing about the converter boxes on each of our kits are that these help to isolate the trailer from the vehicle. So if there is a short on the trailer side, it's not going to come through and affect our vehicle's wiring. Also, they are both protected with a 10 amp fuse, so if there's ever any overload situation, our fuse is going to blow so we won't have to worry about damaging the converter box or our vehicle. Now the one minor difference in the way the plugs are going to work here is that the Takancha gets its ground directly from the factory plug, whereas with the Kurt, we do need to put a self-tapping screw in to a piece of the body metal there to make that ground. So that's going to be a very minor difference, but it does give the ease of installation to the Takancha. When it comes to power output, both are going to be very, very similar. However, the Kurt is slightly more powerful. This is going to deliver six amps for our running lights, and it's going to deliver three amps for each side turn and brake. Now that's going to be more than enough to power any standard size trailer that the Subaru is capable of hauling or cargo carrier. Now the same can be said for the Takancha. It's going to deliver enough power to power standard size trailers that the Subaru will carry and cargo carriers. However, it only delivers 5.6 amps for the running lights and 2.1 amps for the turn and brake on each side. So it'll have slightly less power output but it should be more than enough to carry all of our trailers. Now if you have a trailer that has a lot of incandescent lights on it, you might want to lean slightly to, towards the Kurt to be sure you have plenty of power to power all of those lights. Now from the converter box to the factory plug, you are going to notice that the Kurt is just a little bit longer. You see there we've got about an 8 inch difference between the lengths of both of our plugs there. Now, where we mount these, that doesn't make a huge, huge difference because we do have plenty of four pole length to run out through our hatch. But if you plan on running it outside of the vehicle, this little bit of extra length may help out. That's one thing our customers have talked about with our wiring kits here is that these by design are made to stay in the rear hatch of the vehicle. So you're not gonna have a four pole connector on the outside of your vehicle unless you route it specially through a grommet that will be located in the bottom of the trunk pan. Now it's not a crazy thing to do. I've done it on several Subarus because the customers have requested that, but something you might want to keep in mind. If you also plan on upgrading to a seven pole connection, if you need a brake controller or you need 12 volt power back to your trailer, you will need to run these outside of the vehicle and you'll want to use part number ETBC7 that will give you the plugs, the wiring, and the breakers you'll need to make that installation happen. Now another minor difference that we do have is that our four pole cover on our Takancha wiring has been molded on. So it's designed right into the plug. We won't have to worry about that. And with our Kurt, it's more of a slide on design. So if you don't want this cover, since these do typically stay in the rear hatch of the vehicle, this will be the easier of the two for you to remove. If you like having the cover, which I do because the loop that we have on each side helps to hold our wiring in place, then it seems like the Takancha is probably going to be a little bit better because it does provide us with a permanent attachment point. We won't have to worry about that ever coming off. Now one thing we have noticed differentiating the Kurt style converter box from our Takancha style converter box is that if these do happen to come loose and they start kind of bouncing around or vibrating around in your vehicle, the Takancha seems to be just slightly more durable. If this box starts bouncing around a little bit, typically we don't have any issues where with the Kurt, sometimes we do. Let's do a quick overview here. As far as power outage is concerned, 
the CURT does have a slightly higher output. When it comes to ease of installation, the Takancha is going to be just a little bit easier to install. When it comes to durability, if our mounting locations happen to fail, the Takancha is going to take that one. And if we are planning on doing an exterior mount, the slightly longer harness of the Kurt is going to help us out with that. And that's going to complete our look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring available for the Subaru Cross. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.